Whoa. That was weird. Earthquake. Probably to introduce the new Caves and Cliffs update, which we will go and explore. Wait, why is it doing that in the air? Which we'll, pro we'll go and explore that right now, and we'll be going this direction, mainly because I want to save the backside for when we start actually expanding the base out in that direction. So, we'll head off into this direction. After this, we'll start the Mega Dig project, which I have planned for the underside of the base to make it extremely over the top when it comes to base size and storage and looks. So, I will cut back once I find something of interest. I think we found snowy peaks. Let's go and see. Yep, I think we found one of the new biomes. Wow, this is awesome. I don't think it's going to have a uh, valley that's green. Yeah, no, this, I don't think it's going to have a valley. But we found snowy mountains. Oh, it does. Okay, can I get down where it's not snowy? Thank you. This is cool. There's a pillager outpost up there, too. The waterfalls. Oh, this is cool. This is a spot to remember. Good thing there's this video. Okay, there's also appearing to be a pillager outpost up here. Yes, there is. I would check the loot, but don't fully care to see what's inside of it. Cave there, and it looks like it ends here and then goes into a spruce forest. And then there's a small portion. This is what I mean by I think they might be changing world terrain. Small biomes like this are existing. I don't think this was their intention. I could be wrong. But yeah, I don't think this is what they wanted. So, we'll see what happens. First sign of our infrastructure is beginning to spawn in. So the plan from here is quite simple. We'll start working on first we have to move the beacon down to the correct spot. And then we have to dig out a giant area. Gonna be fun. Gonna really be fun. That area is gonna end up being first at the underside of our house. But in all reality, this thing will become the entire underside of the mountain. Because I want this going all the way down to bedrock so I have plenty of layers to work with. Do my tools look up for the job? Yes and no. We have a pickaxe, pretty much up to health. We have a fortune three pickaxe that's half health. An axe that's not fully health, and then a silk touch pickaxe that silk touch uh, shovel that's decent. So the that means in one of the upcoming episodes we will be working on the villager trading hall to that, well upgrading it because currently ours is a small little hole in the ground that we have all our villagers trapped in. They like it there. No need to worry. They're perfectly content with their living conditions. Okay, we got a decent chunk of... We didn't get anything of value. I mean, we have some of the... We're relatively rich. We're going to only get richer with this project. Uh, we got plenty of fireworks to get out of the hole. I'm going to take an emerald to go activate this thing. Oh, wait. No, I need two emeralds because I'm activating two beacons. Give me that. So the problem is, I need to position the beacon outside of the range of the house. The slight problem is, 16 does not go into any of my side, any of the sides of the house evenly. So that means I got the slight problem of it's gonna be the hole is gonna be slightly bigger 
in the house, which I mean, I'm fine with this with the speed once I can start digging from the side in that back haste too. So, we gotta figure that out. Without too much problem. Which, in all reality, uh, with how big this is gonna end up getting, doesn't matter. But first, I wanna do it underneath the house because that's where the main storage base is gonna be. I've already lost all of my abilities because I... Wait, no, I don't even have haste. What am I doing? If I had haste, then yeah, I'd... Okay, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna start from the top down then. Uh, these things take forever to mine. Kinda feel like we should fight on another wither, but at the same time, do I really want to? The reason I feel I should fight another wither is so I can get three beacons activated for digging. One will be uh, haste, the other will be speed, and the final one could be resistance so that way if I'm fighting mobs I don't end up dying or generation both of those are good but I will meet you guys once I have this collected and I'm at the proper proper position to dig down to get this set up hello we're back we found the corner we're gonna start digging in my inventory is completely filled to the brim which is in all reality no surprise and I forgot one item. Need to figure out how to make inventory room for it. Have an idea. So we're gonna go back to base. Oh wait, I need. Might have to eat another one when we get back to base. So yeah, because we're gonna be underground, we won't be able to tell what time of day it is. They fixed the glitch that I abused, unless they broke it again. Now they fixed it. I used to ne never have to craft a clock because I would just type clock in and it would tell me the exact time of day. But they fixed that. Ah, ow. I didn't fall from high that time, but sure. So yeah, that is disappointing that they got rid of, but we can do that. fix that up real quick. All we need to do is spend four gold and a piece of redstone, and then we can get that. And then we can work on digging out a giant chunk of land. Also, I just realized I need to create inventory room. To be able to craft this real quick. We'll throw that in there. And this. I'll get that stuff back in a minute. Boom. We got that. We'll keep that instead of... What can I get rid of? I'm not going to be placing torches anytime soon. Okay, that. Go there. Fix that. And then let me think. I need my items back. But I only have a space for that. So where? There we are. Okay, so the plan is quite simple. We are going to dig down to the lair that Bedrock is, stick the beacon, fly back up, go and make a 16 by 16 square, find. Uh, right. Go a bit forward from where that is, and actually maybe do that first instead of waste time. No, because then the beacon. Ow! I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this because I need to get. Uh, I want to get water elevator, so I'm not wasting fireworks getting out of a hole, which is basically 64, if not deeper, blocks in the certain spots. The river is gonna be the fun part to try and remove. Hello there, zombies. Okay. Run, there we go. Okay. Ow. Of course we're gonna start going down. So, we got quite a long distance to go. Uh, I will meet you all once I'm at the bottom with some basic storage set up so we can then not have this giant ordeal. Okay, so we're back. We got the basic area set up for this place. This is the chunk we're gonna dig out. I don't actually know if it's an actual chunk. We got our way up. Storage over here. This is where the um, beacon lights are meant to be, but they're a little bit glitched, apparently. So if we just don't know how that happened, sure. I completed an achievement building this. I 
ended up flying down here with the rocket to complete the go supersonic through his place. We got chest set stores all set up. And we got hopefully enough wood to make more chests if we need it. I don't know if we will. And just to start this off, we will mine these 11 diamonds. These aren't really part of this chunk, but you know. Whatever. Found them while digging out. Would help if I was using the right pickaxe. So yeah, we'll mine this one up, and but the rest will of the ores that I've collected will stay in ore form for now. I will mine these up during the time last more than likely with my pickaxe because the they're gonna need repairing. So I will see you all after this quick time lapse. It also takes forever to get out here. Okay, so we're back, and we haven't reached the bottom like I wanted to, but my tools are close to breaking. So, and we're not going to risk destroying our tools, because that would cause a very big problem. So, what we're going to do instead is stop for now. I'm actually going to drop down and go put my inventory all in here. And next episode, we really need to get to work on building up the XP farm using villager because currently every other XP farm that I own does not work the way I would want it to. So yeah, that's a, the project for next time. And I'm hoping to get that done. This is for gravel. This can't I have I'll fix this up later. Make it stack up. I just decided for now to do that. So yeah. The plan is to go and fix the villagers. I'm actually going to fix this now because it's annoying me. So once we get the villagers up and running, we should then be capable of having uh, XP. The plan is to get four of those guys, uh, four clerics, and then get a bunch of masons. I don't know what I can sell with a mason, but hopefully it's something that I can sell that I'm collecting. If not, I'll find a better one. But well, we got decent work done. So far, it takes me, if I'm doing it one layer at a time, it takes me 10 minutes. If I'm doing two layers at a time, it takes me 15 minutes. So my plan is to try and do four layers at a time and hope that that gets me about 20 minutes per uh, four layers, which then would mean that I cut the time of digging in half, which will be extremely good because then I can finish that relatively quickly. But the problem is once I do hit the deep slate area is going to go a lot slower because deep slate is not an insta mine which tells me that tools either they're going to add tools or i'm going to go crazy for the rest of my life trying to dig this thing out so please add an upgrade to beyond netherite so yeah next episode we will be over there wrangling villagers around to get them to work properly hope you enjoy subscribe subscribe to our occasions, and leave a like you enjoy see you all in the next video